All right, I'm on hole number seven of the 2020 Winter Major. I'm in Monday's practice round in the rookie division. I'm in my low-level account, my 99 account. Just checking out the hole, seeing what's uh, trying to get my club card, you know, like what club am I bringing into the green? And what should I be carrying as a secondary club figured out? There's one, two, three. Is that three? There's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven. We definitely need to get on this in one. We're going to get on this in one by coming this direction to get up here. Um, with my low level account, I don't have as much topspin on this extra mile six, so it's going to be more difficult, but we don't want to be going in that direction. I'm going to try it with a power three ball and see if I can get over there, but I may have to switch. And if I do, my only option is to go with a power five ball. I only have one power four ball left. And it's definitely going to be with that bag. Just in case I want to bring my big dog. I'm not going to be in big dog range. I'm either going to be in Machete, Malibu, or I'm going to be over. <laughs> Got a Titan, the king of balls. Here we go. This hole right here, we're going to have to get an eagle on this hole. Um, if you don't get an eagle on this hole, you're going to you're not keeping up with the Joneses. Hole number three is going to be the deciding one. For those that can consistently get eagle on hole number three, they're going to be a leg up. When we talk about minimum score, minimum score should be minus. The base is always minus 12. This hole right here with the ability, with how, with your ability to get an eagle on this hole, um, by coming this way and getting out in here and shooting for that eagle, this is a hole that you really need to get an eagle on. This makes it minus 13 and then minus, and then hole number three is so hard to get an eagle on, even though it's par five, it's so hard to get an eagle that we're now we're back to minus 12. So minimum score wise, we're looking at minus 12, minus 13. If we can get hole number three figured out and we can get into that minus 13 as our, as our base score, um, you're going to be ahead of a lot of people in your bracket because a lot of people in your bracket are not going to get the eagle on hole number three. And here, it doesn't accurately represent how far this drops down. You can see from, go back, rewind that video and go look at the what it looked like from my opponent's perspective. And... It, the, there, it drops down really hard down into that area. It's 2.4 per ring. That leaves me six, so it's about a ring and a quarter. I'm going to put the forward moving distance back in it. I'm going to put max overpower and max curl. And I hit it like 7,000 rings to the right. My thing is I just want to see if I can get over. <laughs> in the rough. I'm under the rock. I'm under the rock. I probably won't even have a shot from there, but you can see as far as distance wise, if I hadn't hit that thing good, I, I could have got on there on the, the fairway over here. So it is possible even with the lower level clubs. I don't think I had this hole. I don't think I got this hole with my lower level account. Maybe I did once. I didn't get a lot of, I played I played about a hundred between Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I played around, if not slightly more than a hundred matches. And I got maybe 30 tournament holes. And I got four people that would replay me. And I don't know how many times I went on a hole, got one of those Maple Bay holes. My opponent went to replay. I went back out, went through the rigmarole, went back out on the course and ended up on the same Maple Bay hole. Went through the process, got back out on the course, ended up on the same Maple Bay hole. Nobody wanted to replay. I, my, this community baffles me sometimes. I mean, I don't know how many people were actually just, hey, let's go play Tour 5 today, or how many people were out there actually out there practicing to try and pick up these tournament holes, and then nobody wanted to replay. You have much better odds of getting the hole that you want. Where am I out in my club here? There's Max. There's Mid. 
We're in about that 5 8, so we're in about the 6 per ring range. That's about a half a ring. I'm going to have to snap it off. Just so if I get in that area again. The good news is, is I wasn't actually under the rock. I hit one yesterday where I was in that same type of deal and, and it wouldn't let me go forward. I actually had to, to shoot the shot perpendicular because it wouldn't let me pass the rock. It was showing me like that under the rock and it was actually making me play like I was under the rock. The good news there is, is while I epic failed on that drive shot, the good news there is, is that if we do catch that perfect or just like a one ring great to the left or the right, we can get up there where we have a chip And if you've got any level power four or power five balls and you've got a lower developed club like that, um, you're definitely going to be able to get over there and get that eagle. This is a hole that we definitely want to get an eagle on as the week goes on. We want to make sure that we get an eagle on this par four every single time we come to it. All right, that was hole number seven of the 2020 Winter Major and Monday's practice round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.